Hello, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com. Uh, this is going to be a quick video on how to uh, boot your 5.1 uh, iPhone running a tethered uh, jailbreak. Uh, this phone had to be shut down because it was having some problems. So now we're at the state where it is powered down and we're going to use Red Snow to start it back up again. If I right click the properties of Red Snow um, you'll notice under the compatibility tab that I have it uh, on the privilege level as clicked run the, this program as an administrator. I also have compatibility mode set to Windows XP Service Pack 3. We're running uh, Windows uh, 7 on this computer. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Red Snow. And then I'm going to click Extras. I'm going to click Just Boot. So the phone is off. Um, I had an error trying to get into DFU mode just a second ago. So as soon as I plug in the cable, it might actually try to turn on. Normally, you would hold down the power button for about three seconds or so, and then the Apple logo would come on. Then you would keep on holding down the power button for a couple more seconds and push the home button also. So at this point, you'd be holding both buttons. When the Apple logo went off, I give it two seconds and then let go of the power. And then if you have the USB plugged in, you'll probably hear a ding or the notification sound that the uh, device is connected to your computer. And at that time, it should be in DFU mode and you can release the home. So let's see what happens when I plug this cable in. The device has already gone to the Apple uh, logo on its own. So I'm going to hold both the power and home. Logo uh, has disappeared so I'm going to let go of the power. You heard the uh, connect to the computer uh, notification sound and now is uh, exploiting the device and it will start the boot process you can see that we set our boot logo to our little uh, Cricut users logo there Red Snow says done so you can close that and the rest of the magic happens on your device it should boot up in a tethered uh, jailbroken state So you'll be able to uh, use your device again as normal. Uh, this is one of the pitfalls of being on the latest uh, software version. This happens uh, quite often uh, when Apple releases a new uh, software version. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing usually to come out is a, a tether jailbreak where you have to uh, do this process every time you boot it. And after that, uh, usually the uh, developers are able to find a way to do an untethered uh, jailbreak. So you can see here's our device on uh, Cricut Wireless and it's functioning correctly again. So for more information on this, how to flash this device to Cricut Wireless and more, please visit our website at www.cricketusers.com, like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash cricket users and subscribe to our YouTube channel.